Hi, my name is Lisa Mead. I'm the principal of Granville Junior Senior High, and I'm thrilled to be able to have this opportunity to add to the video series that each principal is putting together for their building. So we'll start with grade seven. Grade seven is very similar to the elementary schedule. Our grade seven students will attend every day, Monday through Friday, and that will include all students. Students will stay in the same groups for every class period. Uh, and the good news there is that we've extended class periods to be longer, about an hour each, so that we can build in some movement breaks within those periods. Meals will be eaten in the classroom and our days for seventh graders only will start and end with a homeroom to allow uh, teachers some time to really connect with students and to talk and interact with them. Dismissal will be early for only seventh graders and our seventh graders will be dismissed at 120 every single day. Again, seventh graders are following an elementary schedule attending Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in person. Grade eight. So grade eight is different. We will take students uh, by their household last name. Your household last name is the last name that's used as the primary last name for your house's, um, your family's registration. So if your household last name falls in between A through L, you'll attend school Monday and Tuesday in person and then you'll be remote Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday if you're an eighth grader. If your household last name ends M through Z, you will be remote as an eighth grader Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you'll attend in person Thursday and Friday. That allows us to deep clean the building on Wednesdays in between both groups of students. Whether you're in person, face to face, or you're remote, you are expected to follow your schedule live. So first period in school is the same time as first period at home, and you'll need to log in and use your camera to be able to do that on your Chromebook. Lunch will be eaten in the classrooms, and dismissal will be at our regular time around 2.30 each day. Grade 9 and 10 for the first five weeks is very similar to grade 8. Uh, families, um, students rather, excuse me, students will be split by household last name. A through L will attend Monday, Tuesday, face to face, and then they will be remote Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, last names of M through Z will be remote Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then they'll be in person Thursday and Friday. Building again will be cleaned on Wednesdays to allow for uh, deep cleaning between different groups of students. Whether you're in person or you're live remote at home, you are still expected to log in um, at that time for all of your classes. Lunch will be eaten in the classroom and dismissal will be uh, on or near 2.30. So grade nine and 10 will be very similar to eighth grade. Where it changes is for that's only for the first five weeks that they're coming into the building. When the second five weeks hit um, 11 and 12, will switch places with nine through 10. So the first five weeks for 11 and 12, they're all remote. They're taking every class from home, they're logging in on, the, on their Chromebook and attending their courses virtually um, through Google Classroom. They will do that for five weeks. But after the first five weeks, they switch places with grades nine through 10 and they'll be split A through L, M through Z, and then attend Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday, Friday, depending on what group um, that they're in at that time. There are a few, just a few other important points I need to make um, before I log off. Students without internet access will be given access to a learning lab that we will have here. We will meet, we will create a comfortable learning space for students so that not having internet is no longer a barrier for kids. So if you don't have internet, we will transport you here Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And you can be remote on Wednesdays as long as you have cell phone service. If you don't have cell phone service and can't call into Google Classroom, then we would, um, ask that you come in on Wednesdays and we'll make accommodations for that. Students in full day special education classrooms will attend a full day Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And at the junior senior high, teachers on Tuesdays will send home work to be completed on Wednesdays and may also hold some virtual classes on Wednesdays. The biggest change will be uh, that we have to wear a mask. And I know that that can be hard, especially for older students, um, but that's one of the non-negotiables that I'm really not allowed to um, ignore or not enforce. So as much as families can help students practice now, 
wearing their mask, uh, that would sincerely be appreciated. Once you're in your classroom and you're sitting at your desk and you're not working with anybody else, you are allowed to take off your mask. It's just when you get up and move around the room or you go down the hall or you make a trip to the bathroom that you have to wear your mask. So hopefully it's not as bad as um, we all originally thought, me included, when this all started. So that's a lot of information, and I know our building is a little confusing because every grade doesn't have the same schedule. So if you have any questions or concerns, I hope you'll reach out to me either by email or give me a call. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.